Hey guys, how's the preparation going on for the festive season? Today I'll be showing you some gorgeous nail paint review to get you geared up for the festive season. So let's get started. So this video will be all about TS Beauty or TS Cosmetics' newly launched Glitterazi nail polish collection. The entire collection has chunky glittery nail paints which is perfect for festive and party wear. This collection is in collaboration with Amira Destour and these were launched in July 2019 and has got total 8 shades in this collection of which I have bought 5 and you can see the names of the 5 nail polishes that I bought from this range. I will be showing you the swatches and my honest and detailed review on these polishes. So let's begin with the packaging. The packaging is similar to the older nail paints. It has a plastic black cap with the color police written on it and a glass nail polish bottle with the name of the company and the Glitterazi written on this because it's a Glitterazi collection. On the cap there is a holographic sticker with the shade name and the number and at the back you can see some details of the manufacturer written and the quantity is 9 ml. I kinda like the bottle and the cap is sturdy and at the base the price and the expired date is written. These cost Rs 99 each. Now I'll get on to the swatches. I'll begin with this shade of blue and this range has two blues, one brown, one rose gold, one golden, one silver and one purple shade. The consistency is quite perfect, it glides on smooth and this one has elongated glitter particles along with the small ones but I don't really like this color, I realized. These nail paints need at least two coats to get opaque and some might even need three coats. And this particular black shade is very unique because it has blue and red glitter particles so I love this one so much. This particular polish has glitter particles in two different sizes and I absolutely love the brush width of all of these nail polishes because it's just the perfect width and in two or three swipes my whole nail gets covered. So when dry this look matte and this whitish gold is one of my favorites from this collection. So this rose gold polish also has glitter particles in two different sizes and uh, this nail polish will smell like normal nail paints only like I did not observe any abnormality. Here comes the last one. I'm not sure whether I'll buy more from this range or not but I'll try to post the swatches as soon as possible in my Instagram. I like this color but it kind of glided off the center and collected at the edges. So once dry, these nail paints get chunky and matte like this even though on application they are smooth. Now let's do a quick dry test. So it takes about 5 minutes to get tacky and about 15 to 20 minutes to get completely dried. Removal is not an issue if you're not wearing it for a long time but in case if you've worn it for a long time then it gets a bit tough to remove it. But instead of struggling you can watch this video from my card to easily remove glitter nail polish. After swatching and removing 5 shades, look at the condition of my hands. These glitter particles are hard to remove. Now the question of availability. These are available online in Nika and offline at FBB. I bought these 3 from FBB that is Fashion at Big Bazaar and these 2 from Nika. When this launched, I was determined to buy these two, but now in my favorite list, this one has been added. So these are pretty basic colors and will complement with any outfit. And this is my fourth favorite, so you can try these nail paints. So in all, I like the colors, the finish and the affordable price of these nail paints. So two coats of it and you're good to go and your nails will look absolutely gorgeous. Now coming to the cons because everything has a black and white side. So I checked up the formulation of this nail paint from Nika but no data is available. So I switched to Google and I typed TS Cosmetics but no information is available either in the name of TS Beauty or TS Cosmetics. So I by mistake opened this site but this is clearly not the correct site. 
so I checked again and future consumer seems to be the right site for this because that's the mother organization but no data is available in this site as well I have seen even cheaper nail paints with the formulation written even if those are harmful but I do not know what DS got to hide from us or maybe I'm not searching the right place. Especially when nowadays so many brands are declaring themselves to be vegan, cruelty free and fight free or 15 free, DS being a well known brand should give us some information about their composition or formulation so that we know what we are applying on our nails because so many products are carcinogenic and we should be aware of what we are applying on our nails. So except for this I like everything about this nail paint so that's my final verdict. If you're concerned about the formulation you might not want to try this. Hope you like this video. Do subscribe to my channel, like and share this video and tell me in the comments whether you have bought this from Polishes or not. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.